Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of our God Emperor series. Current plans, try to vas vassalize Afghanistan, go to war Delhi. That's basically it. And then after the war with Delhi, we can then do a war with the Avija. Oh, okay. I apparently had access through their territory. And then there's this also this uh, little thing called Maywar, which we could potentially possibly do something with, but probably not going to right now. Not exactly at the top of my list of things to do. A hundred ducats. Denmark gains permanent claims on Halar? Wait, 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 wait. Halar gets the Dansborg factory until the end of game, giving it more local goods and institution spread, but Denmark gains a permanent claim on it? Denmark, huh? Captain Pike has approached the God Emperor. I mean, if they want to try and fight me, that would be their mistake. I'll take it. I'll take your money and increase goods. Halar, huh? It's tempting to maybe build a fortress over here now, just in case Denmark is a fool. I don't think they will do anything, though. They don't have any territory over here. And Russia has been fighting them, so I don't think that's going to happen. They are welcome to try. I would be okay with that. All right, so yeah, Afghanistan. How close are we to this? 40 away. Max promoted cultures? Because we're training in silk. Wait, doesn't trading in silk happen? We are leading producer of silk. Silk producing provinces at least eight. To grab two mercantilism and trade steering. Hmm. Okay, I haven't really looked at trade goods for a while. If ever. So, silk? Is this silk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if we get up into here. Hmm. So, we can get some there. We can get some there. We can get one more down there. What now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm a lot of spices on that coastline there um okay so eventually we can grab all of the silk eventually recall with you hello i will take this idea thank you very much one additional merchant beautiful so with that one additional merchant what do i do I could boost our trade power in our home node by putting a merchant in there. Mm. I mean, we're already steering from there. And there. I could try to collect trade out of here. It will have a penalty because we'll be trading in a node that's not our own. Let me see something. So we're earning 20. 21.6 with a person here. 22.05. Okay. So we're gaining 2.05 ducats with that person. Or we can gain almost 10 here. Okay. I'll take it. For now, anyway. We'll shuffle things around when I make this my home node. For sure. 
which will be in the future. My naval attrition. What the heck? Okay. Um. Dock and heal up a bit. Also, we'll need to upgrade the. Oh, right! We need to upgrade the fleet! Yes! Upgrade all of them. I forgot! <laughs> no! You are not allowed to leave. There we go. Keep drilling. So what's cool is when we get these professionalism all the way up here, we will take out the decision that's in making our troops cost more. So that'll free up some money there. Which will be pretty cool. Uh, we do have a lot of money right now. You know what, let's... Let's keep upgrading some of these because they increase institution spread, right? Oh, only the level 3 does. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 Level 2 does 10%, right? Now this is 30%. So, own provinces and area, local development costs is cheaper. Sale modifier number goes up, number of buildings goes up. So, I'm assuming... Because these are all part of the same place, so that development cost is going to stack, right? That would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet. There are so many centers of trade now with this update, with this expansion. So very many. When can we go to war? We got three, three years. Well, less than three years. We got two years. Manpower is almost up to its maximum. I still don't think we need to hire anybody else, though. No one's going to be able to fight the army we have currently until we get to, like, the Ming. Unless Russia declares on us, which, if that's the case, then we will hire more people, let me tell you. We will hire everybody. I'll hire the whole world. Okay. Uh, buildings. Grab that. Definitely grab that. Mm, grab that. Let's try and get some of the small stuff. All right, training fields. Yep. Yep, we're gonna wanna make a couple of those. Now, I may be at max manpower, but still having a ton of manpower, again, increases the rate at which you get them. Oh, we lost the training. Up. Facts of suck. Oh, okay. So having high, higher manpower is still an amazing thing. Alright, all the early frigates are ready. Go out there and make us some money. Make all the money. Alright, and we need to state this, right? Yes, let's do that. Cord all. Perfect. What other states do we have out there? Hmm. No. We're looking for Patan or Kalat. Patan. Really? This has a lot of development? I'm not going to say that. At least not yet. Not yet. What the heck? Interesting. Oh, we probably got those from Port, Port Bandar, maybe? Alright, upgrade these ships. Cool. And then we shall build some more. There we go. Get that trade fleet as high as we can. We need 187 for that. Corn Empire gets loyal subjects for five years. Diplo rep goes up plus one. Diplo annexation cost goes minus 15%. 
Uh, actually, we're not going to be able to Diplo annex anybody, I don't think, in that amount of time. I don't think. When is my current Diplo rep going to go back up? Because we're still at minus three. Is it for like ten years you get that or something? It's kind of a long time. And I think I'll need that to get the vassalization. Also, don't we need to be uh, alliances with them anyway? I think we do. So maybe I just offer an alliance right now. Uh, actually, mm, mm, yeah, I can eventually vassalize them. Yeah, you must have a military alliance in a relation of 190. The target country must be at peace. Yeah, I'll do an alliance into a vassalization, sure. Why not? We'll row marry you, it's gonna be a grand old wedding. There we go. Huzzah! Am I row married to you? No, I'm not. You probably should be. Huzzah! Am I row married to Bengal? Yeah, we are. Kalpi? Yeah, we are. Okay. Alright. So, with that, what are we at now? 60. Okay. Again, with the Diplo rep, I think we'll get there. I hope we'll get there. And also, we can give them... Oh, here. Offer knowledge sharing. What will this do? They will pay us 10% of their income every month. Meanwhile, growth of our oldest established institution, unembraced by them, currently printing press, will be accelerated by plus one per month in their capital area. It expires after 10 years. Okay, confirm. Because right now they are sitting at 60. They accepted that. So that doesn't affect vassalization at all. Doesn't seem like it even affects this at all either. Hmm. Okay. We'll get there. Propose that their merchants should steer trade towards me. Hmm, no. Here, I'll offer you military access. Again, I don't know if that's actually going to affect the vassalization. It doesn't. Alright. But still, that's fine. They can have it. The military access, that is. Uh, 672. Alright, the barracks. But that's not the crucial thing right now. It's exciting to grab all that manpower, but... Hmm... Money is better. I think I'm going to focus more on increasing trade power. So we were going to want another thousand so we can level this up. And then we can develop everything in here at such a cheaper price. Um, I'm curious. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's very expensive. Oh, 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 true timer. Yeah. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Uh, Chagatai. The small country. Okay, cool. That's cool for me, not for you. know what we're getting ready for. Um, let's actually move you down there. Right there. You go there. You go there. Now again, this first war, I'm probably going to feed a lot of Delhi to Kalpi. Trade efficiency. Perfect. Perfect. Have I been... I don't have a, um... A thingamabob, a spy network going on here. Eh, it's fine. It's okay. 
Whoa. What up? Let's not get crazy. There we go. And Shrews is over. Also with Balukasan. Oh, uh, you're a vassal of Delhi? Really? All right, let's get in position for those. I'm going to raise our fort maintenance right now. Ooh, an idea. Trade range, plus 25%, nice. Huzzah. We'll blitz through their vassal here. I wanna find where their army is. Maybe it's in here? No. Where is your army? Interesting. Split in half, split in half. We're gonna try and do this as fast as we can. Split in half again, move it down here. All right, I think we are ready. Chagatai will jump in. Um, you will not. You are in debt. That is okay, friend. They hold provinces that are rightfully ours. Batiana. Was that up here? That means that would be the war goal, so that's fine. We'll get up there too. And this is 25% less aggressive expansion, which is great. So that sounds perfect. Do it. So the vassal has no uh, way that they can not go into war. So march in there, march in there. So you're done. Marching straight to the capital. Marching to the, actually march you to the fortress. And go at speed three. Minor victories against uh, a thousand troops here and there. Getting their vassal outside of the war, or out of the war. Um, let's go for, actually, I guess we can go to that castle after they're done. We'll send you straight up. Oh. Weird, I can't even get there. Um, we can probably win this. Well, what's the situation here? Yeah, we have no negatives here. Wait, no one else can march in there. How the hell did I get in there then? Alright, well, we're not going to take that fight if I can't get any reinforcements. That would be suicide. there either. It's almost like I was able to walk right through this. Hmm. They're going to get a river crossing penalty here. Or not. I guess they don't. Yeah, more discipline, much more morale, more military tactics. So yeah, that was over before it began, man. I don't know what the heck you were thinking. That was pretty silly. Where exactly are you white flagging to?
What, into Bengal? Huh. I mean, that kind of sucks, because that means I have to send an army after you. Where are you going? There's no way they can bounce back from a white flag in my territory. They m must be going up to... I don't know where the hell they're going. But there's no way they can white flag or out or get out of the white flag stance in the middle of my area. That's not how that works. Where the... F I don't... Hmm. Hmm. That is slightly confusing. Must be going to Bengal. <laughs> so what? They white flagged to my capital? They white flagged to my capital and are now through the walls of my capital. Okay, video game. Okay. Okay. Sure. So they get to move at a faster speed through my territory and end on my capital. And then bounce back from a white flag status. And now they're blanket sieging my south. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Hey, you know what? Maybe I just don't know how the game mechanics work, you know? Maybe that's, maybe that's what's going on here. march my army down here then I mean it's not a big deal it, it does kind of suck that they were able to wipe like bounce back in my territory usually I'm pretty sure you have to bounce back in your own territory or like a vassal or something but hey you know what why does the AI need to follow these types of rules Actually, not gonna be able to take my fort. Get out of my fort! You cheating bastard! Now, where are you going? Okay, they're gonna bounce back right here. And we stack like them. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I could totally be wrong there. Maybe they are allowed to. Bounce back in your territory, on your capital, even. I want to go with this. Let's gain the armor tradition. I kind of want to start that rising. Alright, wipe those. Exit. Split in half. Um, this war is basically over. I'm just gonna position you in the back here and over here in case something escapes. I don't think like it will. with the Fisha ended. Okay. So we will go into uh, that war next. Let's see if we can fabricate another claim on them. Who's this? Kelpie? Your idol, so come back. Uh, 
Um, actually, come up here and... Oh. There we go. Look at that. the max promoter cultures again huzzah us uh let's go over here and take that loot the best of loot oh right i was gonna race trade um i can cancel those let's cancel two of them and we'll raise the trade node instead in here. Wait, was that not it? Oh, here we go. Oh, we can't. We're at war. Right. Alright, we'll then build one of these. Wait, what was the what? Did I say Ch Chagatai? I think I missed what that said. Even though I read it briefly. <laughs> I thought it was just a generic message of like, hey, you got this thing. And then maybe that exactly what it was. Alright, we'll build that. Form has been revoked. As a result of our recent war, the the emperor has been forced to revoke the reform call for Reich's reform. Reform the empire to a more centralized model. Emperor gets. Wait, isn't this the HRE? I think this is the HRE. Yeah, so why... Okay, that's that doesn't have anything to do with me. That's Europe stuff. Oh, let's see, in Chagatai. Um. Oh, you're a tributary state of the Ming. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. We'll just loot some of this stuff. And change this so we can just give it to. Copy. Copy. So the upper doab. I right, can't give you any of that. Do I have to take the actual war goal? Okay. I, I wonder if I can just leave that. For next time, so I can get another reconquest one. I don't know if there's a penalty for not taking the war goal in the peace deal. Because I usually take the war goal in peace deal. Let's we'll start pulling some of our armies out of here. In fact, let's get you out of there. You out of there. You out of there. All 
Crimea Civil War. I'm not gonna try and go up to Chagat's. Oh. <laughs> All right. Culpi has me. Uh, has me on that one. They they got us. Oh, they got Chagat's eye there. All right. I guess we'll just let Culpi do its thing. Now those are wastelands. Okay. A beloved heir dies, and we gain a temple. Yes. In the arms of the Lord, I find solace. You will die. Oh. Our heir is strict, just like the father. Oh, hey. Maximum on... Uh, can we... Yeah, we can. We can press the strengthen empire button. Or strengthen government. Because we're not at 100. It's kind of a waste, but it does give us absolutism, so... Sure. Why not? And we're gonna march your ass down here. We may need to... I don't think... Hmm... I may need to do some rebel busting for my ally. Because they're going to go into the war with me against the Vizia, so they're not going to have their army back here to fight. Uh, well, I mean, you know. Oh, shit. This again? Um, That would bring them below 40%, so our production efficiency would drop. As much as I would want to. Dang. I'm gonna have to do this instead. I don't wanna lose that production efficiency. So. We net gained 5 army tradition and 2.5 professionalism through that, though. So that's still not bad through those two events. They kinda work hand in hand. Wait, what was that with Afghanistan? Oh, we're so close. Oh, because, yep, our Diplo Rep came back. Now, if we put our Diplo Rep even higher... Oh, yeah, Shaka time. Um... So we can also take Baluchistan, because they are the vassal, but I honestly don't care too much. I'd rather feel feed Delhi into Kalpi. Kalpi. Kalpi Kalpi. Wow, they still like me? <laughs> They're friendly towards me as I take out their... What? Oh, I need to wait for my uh, Divmet to come back. Ten days. Ten days. I think I'll probably bring you back, too. for peace. What kind of coalition we're looking at? That's fine. That'd only be a 66? Really? Hmm. So that means I could feed even more. Can't feed that, though. This is really awkward that I have to get the upper DOAB for that mission. Because that means I need to take these. It's going to be really awkward. I wonder if I just do that right now. Because if I get those... 
Then I get... What is it? Conquer Delhi? And our morale of armies goes up by 15%. Then we go to this. Have an army tradition of at least 50%? Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so our military needs to have loyalty of 60 and influence of 50. And army tradition of at least 50%. Which is sitting at 40 right now. Um, you know... I think I'll wait. That's a big addition for Kalpi. Kalpi, whatever. Hmm. We'll get war reps. And I'm taking your money. Thank you for your money. Okay. So my vassals are marching down here. They are now twice as big, nearly. Which may impact their liberty desire. Well, not yet. Alright. That's good. I am going to assist them. I think with an army's worth of um, rebel busting. Yeah, because it looks like I have enough to form an entire wall here. So, that's good enough. We'll leave this army behind to assist our vassal. Did I ever install our dynasty into you? I did not. Here. As the overlord of the, of the uh, Kalpi, we decided to begin knowledge sharing and bracing printing press will speed up in uh, the Kalpian capital area. We will pay 10% of their monthly income. Oh, we pay that. Oh. Well, you are welcome. 10% of my monthly manpower will go to them. What's their manpower at? I don't know if they really need that right now. All right, we can raise their morale of armies and their discipline if I pay 1.8 a month. Right. I may do that next time. Hello, Vizja. It's been so very long. Since we have declared war upon you. Will Bengal join us today? Hmm. They are still in debt. Well, that is a damn shame. So the island nations will join in, but this time I... Well, you know what? I do want the Bengalian fleet. But that debt is really insane. And it's going to take a long time for them to bleed that off. Hmm. Well, I can try something. We can try and ambush their fleets. Which is, I think, what I'm going to do here. I don't have an admiral, though. So I think their ships are on like a trade detail. So they probably will come through here again. Maybe. Coast of the Maldives. Let's 
South Kanahar. Where are you going? South Kanahar? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Now they're heading down to the Comorian Cape. Okay, so that's where we are. They are locked. We will give this a shot. Um, they do have a heavier two, but that's fine. You want to take Goa. Uh, which one is this? Devden? General Devden. You have no siege pips. Jeez, that's okay. None of us. You're going there, you're going there. So yeah, we ambush their ships. Uh, kind of, kind of cheap. But hey, it's an ambush. Ambushes are cheap. We're going to detach damage. And those are going to go repair. So those are going to have to go dock. We're going to leave these ships here. They are trying to break through. Not going to happen. There's a reason why we have a wall. Pile everybody in here. That's fine. Yeah, I think this time we're probably going to be sending armies down to the islands. Actually, if I could vassalize them, that's a way that I can get a presence down here. That's interesting. Because then we can control the trade nodes through here more. And then build more, uh, like, fabricate claims. So if we can grab... If we can grab Majapit as an as a vassal somehow. Oh no, it won't happen. They have more than 100 development. Oh, it doesn't matter though. In a war goal scenario, right? All that matters is how much war score I need to take. Oh, I probably won't be able to. I don't know. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna get into what ifs. Are you seriously coming back already? My God. Just die. What are you? Good God. Are they just going to keep falling for this? I need that fort to fall. Okay, so it looks like they're probably going to try and march up the side. That's my guess. My guess would be right. Land fire damage because they are ruthless. Perfect. Oh, we are at a maximum monarch points again. For both admin and military. Weird. I think I'll take this admin tech then. Which means I can take this military tech. Supply limit plus 50% is pretty good. That's the only thing I really care about here. Because we don't use calves, so yeah.
We have a lot of money. What's our embration? Embrace. Embrace cost? Damn, we're so close. But I mean, I just spent that those points on the tech, so... Um... Yeah, that would, would be kind of a waste. Let me see something. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me build a couple more of these, because that's just so many people. That's so much manpower. <laughs> My god. And then we want more of these if we can, or we build as many as we can. Oh, here we go. We got more coastline up here. Build those. What else do we got? The 13s are worth it. They are worth it. So I guess we'll grab them. Alright, so we built all the ones that are worth it there. Now we're down to 300. Okay. I was going to upgrade more Cinders of Trade, but we can't do that during a war, so I figure let's just spend all the money we have right now. And by the time this war is over, we'll probably have enough to upgrade more Cinders of Trade after that. I hope that just made sense. I just said a lot of words fast. Perfect. Now we go to the capital. You move up there. You move up there. We'll wait for this to fall, and then we can proceed onward on the right. Where's my vassal at? They're in this war. I'm telling you to go siege. Here, be aggressive. Maybe they're rebel busting because... Oh, because I forgot to. That's probably what they're doing. I'll help you. Because that's what my ships are there to do. But I just totally forgot to do it. Together. All right, so with that, we can move you down, move you there, move you there, move you through there. The wall goes south. I like this tactic. They're getting the hell out. That's not going to save you. But I can understand why you're doing it. So we'll move here, force a battle. You'll move behind, you'll move up. you move there, and there. So if they control both sides of the straight here, then it doesn't matter if I have ships or not, they can still move across freely. But as soon as I take one of these two, which is going to be this one, then because I have ships here, they're no longer allowed to cross. But as long as they control both, they can cross freely. Fights. Oh, there's a battle going on here, so we can't cross right now. Now we can. That's fine. Actually, I'm going to wait. Because that's going to happen. Our truce with Coruscant has ended. Okay. So we will win again. And then they'll be forced to dock over here. Let's detach damage. Uh, now I can actually repair here. 
because we own this, technically. Uh, since our vassal is down here now, I think we want to let them take the rest. And we're just going to loot like we did before. Let them accomplish some stuff. Yeah, the unrest is pretty high here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a rebellion. Uh, trading in gems happened to us, so yielding inflation is reduced. Hell yeah. Let's go speed four. Ooh, they have 30k troops there. Okay, we're gonna need to help. Go, friends. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. I'll loot the hell out of this. It's funny that they went to bust rebels instead of, I don't know, taking the stuff. Again, so they're gonna go to Maldives. I can take Maldives. Oh, I really don't want to go down there, but like right now, I don't have that much of a war score here. I kind of have to go smash them. How many transports do we have? 18. I want to force another fight before, uh, before they heal up. So we're going to send some forces over here to take this out. You have another idea. I'm okay with taking that idea. Trade efficiency is good. You have a lot of money. that. Oh, man. God, so many good manufactories. Fight them again. So, where can they go now? Oh. I think I know where they're going. Oh no, there's um there's three people there. Oh no. Ah crap. Alright, hold on. They have three thousand people just standing on this island. Gosh darn it. Alright, so transport as much as you can over here. Cancel the rest. Just transport what you can. People laugh at our army? Okay. Who's laughing? Got here land fire damage, land attrition. Mm, take that. So now my guess is that they're going. 
Oh, wow. They have all of these little islands. Look at all these little islands they got. Oh, I can't get there. Because that's I don't have that area explored. Oh, man. I'm going to need to get an explorer. The Holy Roman Empire has elected Bohemia as the leader. God, I didn't realize how much, how many islands the Vizsla had. Venice King's Diplo Power, Innovativeness. Okay. Are you going to crush that? Oh, you can't because we're blocked off because of that. Oh my goodness. Wait, but we can show both sides though. Shouldn't we be able to... Let's go through and take all these little islands. Alright, can I leave? I think we have lost some ships. sharing ends. How long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? What the heck? Alright. Well, we crushed our navy. Seriously, how long is this going to take? Oh my goodness. I can't get there because the dock is on the Terra Incognita side. <laughs> So we can drop them off, but I can't pick them up. Okay. I need the quest for the New World National Idea to recruit explorers and conquistadors. Which means I have 18,000 troops who are stuck here. Because I can't explore this ocean. To get that idea, I'd have to upgrade or get to the tier 18 admin tech and then do what is it, exploration and then get quest for the new world. <laughs> oh, there's no way to get them off there. I have to delete that army. I have to delete the army. So, what's the makeup here? Five cannons, 13 infantry? Luckily, some of the troops return to our manpower pool. Actually, here, let's do it this way. So, let's go hire up a new division. I can't believe we got stuck here. That's... Mm, mm. That's some baby back bullshit right there, man. Um... I need to edit this. Okay, yeah, delete it. Because this is going to be rising up. So we want... Oops, nope. 
Although the amount of troops that we're losing, eh, that's fine. I think that's fine. Let's go hit the save button. So now we pulled out all that manpower to recruit them. And because our professionalism is so high, when we disband people, some of them go back to the pool. 18,000 of its men will return to our manpower pool. Cool. Very cool. Um, but yeah, it's... What is it? Yeah, regain manpower with disbanding. So because we have this, that means our troops can well, go back home. Instead of just being gone forever. That's uh, so upsetting. And I don't really want to fight for this anymore. So... I think we sue for peace. Do I have a ticking war score still? Yeah, we get six more. You know what? It's, it's fine. Actually, what's the states like here? So these five. We need to get that. And Genoa is this whole... Okay. So that would give us two more states. Oh, I can't get that because our war score isn't high enough. Mm. All right, another piece of Vizja belongs to us. this fortress. Mothball forts. Move back home. Stop the rubble busting because we're going to go down here and rubble bust instead. And then you are going to go repair. And then we'll send you on your mission. All right, that really sucked. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that. What's our true Sarmus look like? What do we got? Delhi is in 11 years. That's the next big one. So, I mean, I guess we can fight Coruscant. Oh, it looks like they assimilated their vassal there, because Delian right there. Um, we'll figure out something to do at some point. But I think I'm going to be ending the episode here. I feel like this one ran a little bit long. I got a little distracted with the war with the Vizja. Ah, oh, we lost the effects again. Um, oh yeah, let's uh, rebel bus here. So there. Actually, the. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Where is this at? That's, wait, that's up here, isn't it? Yeah, that's right here. That's odd. march you over there and then we do some rebel busting there same thing yeah that's kind of it 
Whew. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody. We almost have all of southern India here. It's going to probably take at least... Oh, man. Three more wars with them, I think, to absorb everything else uh, down here. And then we can start grabbing their islands, or maybe we just forget about them at that point. But hopefully by that time, we're through Delhi as well, and we can start getting into the Ming. In terms of our great power, we are now in third place. Ottomans first, France second. Alright. Denmark's still holding on. Castile's still holding on. No, no Spain. I don't think Spain's gonna be popping in this game. From the looks of it. Wallachia is still around. That's so weird. Crimea is still around. Theodoro getting bigger a little bit. Livonia. Pomerania is still around. Brandenburg. All these little one territory things belonging to the Holy Roman Empire. Austria has gotten bigger. Papal States is slightly bigger. Tunis is still around. Mamluk still around. But they will eventually lose to the Ottomans. Kilwa is strong. <laughs> No uniform, uh, unified Japan yet, at all. Although the Oda and the Ashika, are they just like allied to each other? Has the following tributary states, Date and Uchi. So the Ashikaga still have the Date as a tributary state and the Uchi as a tributary state, but they're also allied with the Oda and the Shoni. Shoni and then of course Oda owns this. And it looks like they're in a war together against Korea to expand I guess Japanese influence over here. But they're not a unified Japan yet. That's so weird. You still have this like 50 50 split between the old shogunate, which was the Ashikaga. Um, yeah, and then the Oda is technically the shogun because they own Kyoto. That's so weird that it's still like this. Anyway, sorry. This run on very long. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.